This episode of The General's Gentleman is sponsored by Ashes of the Singularity. Take control of epic battles in a massive scale RTS where you control thousands of units. With up to 14 players per game, it's the biggest RTS to date. Welcome to The General's Gentleman. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Rise of Nations. We have a high level 2v2. This is pretty cool because these players, these are no scrub casuals, they're no scrubber dub dubs. Negative, uh, machine, negative indeed. They are big MLG pros, and for today, the uh, the teams will be on our rightish hand side. We'll see how we go. It's gonna be Red Bull. Uh, he's playing as our Persians, his teammate uh, will be. Uh, Dante, he's going to be our Mongols. And their opponents will be the clan IND. First, we're going to have Gunnalan as our Romans. And his teammate will be Dangerous Dave playing as the Aztecs. And that is officially the best name. I just realized it's actually kind of hard to read the UI here because I'm, I'm on my 4K monitor. And, uh,. Yeah, the UI is really small. Yeah, that would be why. Yeah. There, there might be a menu struggling. option to actually upscale the UI, but I won't worry about it for now. Normally, again, the game will let you do that. Um, or, or the UI scales yeah. with the game, but I'm pretty sure this UI hasn't scaled. If you're wondering if that was just an excuse for the machine to say he has a 4K monitor, you are correct, yeah. sir! <laughs> Takes yeah. every opportunity you can possibly get. Wow, how does how does Rosin Agents look? I mean, the, the, the Rosin Agents is running at 1440p because that's what I'm recording at. Not that it really matters anyway. Like, Rise of Nations looks nice with, with the HD version, but I doubt you would notice much of a difference over just regular 1080p. Yeah. Um, and Rise of Nations, it's, it's that nice kind of, like, that art style where it's 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 3D, but it's like, it doesn't really look 3D. It's, it's kind of, I don't even know if it is 3D. It's probably 3D. Like, like these buildings, can I even rotate the camera? I don't know All if right, I can. can you? Yeah, anyway. Yeah, it is 3D, yeah. Cause look at the birds fly through the air. Yeah, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Well, I thought it might be like some things are, some things aren't. Right, okay, yeah. Because in some other RTS games, um, like, the, you know, kind of early 2000s, it's like they have certain things that are 3D and certain things that aren't. Okay. Like the buildings or whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, anyway, so... 2v2. What's gonna happen here? A quick, quick double supply, double, no, wrong game. Double expand for Red Bull. Is that, uh, Persians, so Persians. Running over quickly. Bonus food. Yeah, second city acts as the second capital. That's what it was. I knew it was something to do with cities. I couldn't remember exactly what. Well, and they start um, with extra food, so you yeah. can get that double commerce a bit earlier. Very cool. Oh, and of course, the civic research too. Yeah, yeah like Persians. Basically everything in their kit is is just designed for double expanding. Yeah. You get extra caravans, taxation for free. If you don't double expand and you're playing Persians, you are playing Persians wrong. You are very incorrect. So good good stuff from Red Bull. And expanding in a straight line as well to pressure the territories of both Gunland and Dangerous Dave, uh, which is cool. Do love pushing back those national borders with Ford cities. Big this, fan. Is, this is such a good city location because not only does it have a million trees, it also is quite defensible. Coming from the south is going to have a bit of a hard time actually engaging here. I'm trying to find a good good angle to collapse upon. So, short of that, fairly slow to start things off. What I'm really hoping for, as it is a team game, there are twice as many people to spam the awesome emotes that are in <laughs> Rise of Nations. So, fingers crossed we can get that thrown down. All of our players going for Classical Age at the same time. You look at the corner here, all one to two. Mm. And no military here for Red Bull, going for that double expand, obviously slowing him down in other areas. So really, the question is, is can he actually hold the city, or will he get spread too thin? Will he uh, just take a lot of harassment here? I mean, I, I was thinking maybe he shouldn't be getting farms in the middle, because then he has to kind of defend this spot right. as well. Yeah, and just go farms on the on, on yeah on, on the one and yeah, the second. Maybe. But he probably didn't have this the second done by the time he was building this farm to begin with. He would have been flooding the, the timber. So we're probably looking at fairly decent wealth and. Timber income, I suppose, here for for Red Bull. So, just 
expect units relating to those to start coming out. Here's where I find his, his current advantages with the amount of timber that he has available at this forward city. Stable there for Dangerous Dave. Stable here as well for Dante. Ooh, there's going to be some harassment starting things off. Another stable for Red Bull. Players having very similar BOs to start this game off. Yeah, I was I was not sure if he was going to go for a barracks first because I thought he may just go defensive defensive heavy infantry to try and hold out here but I guess he, he wants to have more mobile units to try, yeah look at this because there's a horse archer in the middle as well and there's already a light horse too what about a uh, gunner land um actually have they split the teams yeah they have Oh, yeah, wow, they, they have. have. Right, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I just, Sorry. I ought to assume that Red Bull and Dangerous Dave, I mean, I bet that's already in the comments, but I ought to assume that, like, Red Bull and Dante were playing together and the two IND guys would play together, just because that's what you, you normally get when you have clan tags, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, I was just, I'm like, I'm watching, and, and Red Bull's been scouting Dante's base. I'm like, what are you doing scouting Dante's base? Don't you have vision of that area? Um, right, so it's actually a, a team switch-up. That makes a lot more sense. Red Bull and Dangerous Dave together, Dante and, uh... Uh, gonna land together. I'm pretty sure that's yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's red and white. See how they're spaced mm. out there. Yeah, red and white. So it's kind of it's like top left first, bottom right. So ignore everything we said. We're starting again from scratch. Hey guys, welcome to Rise of Nations. Hope you will. But uh, this this is a TV two. Yeah. High level players. Hope you enjoy. There's actually a lot of horses here. But now I'm confused about the teams again. Aqua, Aqua. This is red. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's fine. Aqua's Dante, so. Actually, that was a good snipe there coming out of, of Dante because he sniped the visit villager building the barracks. So now that barracks has been delayed, he can't get any units out of that one. And there's actually going to be a forward city coming down too. National borders pushed back once more, and now we are 100. Absolutely. 100 meme on the uh, on the on the teams. Quite obvious now. I'm r I'm hoping that uh, Gunnaland gets in the fray as well. Uh, really yet to provide any support. Can we get another bar? Can we get a, a counter barrack snipe? I'm afraid not. No, it's a very low light horse. It's probably not going to be our finish off the villager. But we have barracks here, pretty close to each other. It's a very spread out line of attack, so the, both of these production structures are going to be quite vulnerable if there is a siege. So what do you have Good Land actually going for? Mainly economy by the looks of it. Yeah. He's got the most f food income compared to actually anyone on the field. Yeah, quite significantly. So not, not a lot of units, not a lot of territory, but that income can definitely help. There is diplomacy gifting and things like that in Rise of Nations. Yeah, you can give money. So you can, yeah. Might be a, a strat. It's just every, one, one player goes for production structures, the other player sends them cash. Yeah. Cash monies. You, you, you find someone on, on your team with a really good macro and you just send him all of your yeah. cash. And yeah. he's like, man, I, I'm floating, can't macros, spend it. Yeah. Yeah. MLG, big plays. The Siege Factory is built as of yet. Not a lot of early harassment. Red Bull's starting to build up a decent sized army now. Man, this city's getting pushed back so much. Yeah, it really is. So, I mean, uh, it's good that Red Bull went for the, the safe timber camp, as opposed to one on the other side, because this territory really is being forced backwards. Yeah, that's true. Going in towards his opponent's territory. This is a nice little army assembling up here with the despot, so he could definitely do some good harassment here, especially... Yeah, sure towards the south, but I like how there is a tower uh, here. Really good positioning for the tower. Covering both of those camps. Sometimes it can be... Uh, that's, that's kind of the, the, the advantageous position to put a, a timber camp. There might be better areas <laughs> to put it down, but if you, if you can, with a single uh, keep, if you can cover both you know, the mining camp and the, the timber camp simultaneously, that's pretty cool. So. Yeah, and it's obviously close to the metal camp, but that's because... 
woodcutters camp there's only there's, there's less workers but also because it's, it's closer to this this the the city so that's less important okay that's the attack going in using the ambush may even be able to burst down the senator yeah possible walking right up to it certainly a an option so it's getting peeled here Another city. Wow. This one in the favor of Red Bull and Dangerous Dave, however. There's the uh, ambush wearing off. These units gonna go. They're uh, split for choice between two cities. Do so they start with the production structures? Currently a farm being focused. Yeah, because if he, if he goes for this city here, he can actually s just snipe any units as they come out of this barracks. And there's also the metal mine there too. Well, the citizens have been evacuated, so we won't find any citizen snipes. The army for defense is pretty small, but there's the city and the tower, so we can't really pick off any villages. Maybe overextending is, is the dangerous Dave. His army is very small, so if he gets collapsed upon, he will lose it pretty fast. And uh, if, if nothing else, the land's pulling all of the, the citizens from, from these towns by running back and forward. He's forcing continual pulls, which is blowing through... Uh, a lot of the economy actually makes the trade worthwhile for every uh, every piece of wheat that isn't collected and every tree that isn't cut down uh, the land is making his attack more and more worth Robot's not having a fun time when it comes to territory dude is getting pushed back all over the place yeah there's two catapults here going for the stable mm. it's a lot of bowmen uh, we're able to snipe down this this, this right hand catapult's well out of position. Hopefully we see that getting sniped by Red Bull. Should go for it. Definitely need some pikemen there too. Yeah. You could almost take that engagement when the, the pikemen actually come up. This army's just trolling around. Looking for something. I think he's trying to scout this uh this copper deposit out. Nothing on it though. Not a big deal. Triple catapult now. Wow, elephant. Good Dante. Kind of getting bursted down. I don't know if Red Bull's going to respond to this with his army. Seems as though yeah, they are. Dangerous Dave has also pulled his army up to this area, so potentially they just collapse here. Uh, break Dante and break his production. That would be a nice move if they can actually go in on this one. There's still very limited amounts of pikemen to deal with the, the, the cavalry. Dante's army is pretty spread out. He has a few horses back near his catapults. This is a really good engagement. And this army is still in enemy territory, looking for more harassment. Well, the stable's gonna go down here. Yeah, Dante still has plenty of time to go for more... ...more cavalry, with that being said. Elephant popping in and out of garrisons to make sure it doesn't go down. It's another ambush, though finding a... ...keep not really gonna be able to do much. Double catapult probably going to be sniped here. That's nice. Taking damage from the keep in order to snipe down some more citizens. And there's really no standing army for Dangerous Dave inside his own base. So they've got to kind of make this attack worth it. Everyone's on the medieval age now. Yeah, that was quite risky there. Pushing out with uh, Dangerous Dave's army. Because then he doesn't have anything to do about this, this army that's still in his base. Either Dante or Red Bull, they're like hard capped on economy as well. They really need a um, uh, a commerce change. This is Gunland selected now. Right. The green. No, I'm pretty sure it was dangerous. It was either Red Bull or, or Dante. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's Dante. Dante. There wow. we go. Yeah, he's hard capped. He needs 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 commerce upgrades or, or a Colossus. One of the two. Either will work at this stage. So army's still being a thorn in the side of Dangerous Day, preventing from really helping Red Bull when it comes to those engagements. Ooh, upgraded uh, Caesar Legions. But a little bit embarrassing, he actually didn't snipe this caravan. Yeah. He was he was there for so long, and yeah, the caravan slipped past. Pulling the army back again. Uh, more, more cheeky villager snipes. <laughs> Is that a forward castle? It looks at things. Yeah, from Red yep. Bull. 
pretty bold positioning. I mean, it's it's right in, in Siege Pass, so he better hope that he can build up enough of an army to, to deal with any Siege coming in from Dante. Land heading up towards 4, the Ludman Age. Gunpowder Age. Gunpowder Age. Yeah, I knew I was missing one, but I wasn't sure what it was, so I had to roll with it. There, there isn't age. A, a rare resource that allows you to skip the gunpowder age. Damn. That would be nice. If I'm a cool guy, can I skip the gunpowder no. age? Or, um, it's annoying. Three trebuchets, but not much of a supporting army. No, not at all. Those, these merchants could be going down. That being said, nice. Good snipes. Swarathon's getting work done. Just tanks up so much damage. I said that's, that's, that's probably the, the most crucial point is that it will just tank up so much damage that would ordinarily be dispersed onto the yeah, what, one, health. 175 injury. health with 8 armor, whereas a knight has 110 health and 4 armor. They're a bit more expensive though than uh, your regular your cavalry units. But yeah, they're pretty good. Dante needs commerce upgrades, bro. Yeah. yeah it's kind of bad. Efficiency, 70%. Yeah. Efficiency, 83%. Yeah, I can afford it. I don't know why he's not getting it. Yeah, you're actually you're throwing away a lot of resources there. Do you not like free stuff, Dante? Free stuff is, is cool. I would recommend it. There's two bombards mixed in, so these towers will no longer be keeping this army at bay. Nice. What? No longer be keeping this army at bay. Uh, Love your work, mate. Love your was, work. That wasn't intentional. That pun was not intentional. They, they never. The best ones never are. Damn it. You're a pun talent. Shane, you're a pun talent. Still, watch is going to be completed for Dangerous Day. That's probably going to help. And, uh... <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look like good fortress placement, but it really is. It's like, this is where the army's been the entire time. Yeah. Please, please stop running between my cities. Thank you. See, I'm not sure if going for the city here is the best option. Going for that tower would be very, very powerful. Because then all of these, these workers are completely exposed. That being said, he actually might get it. If he gets it down, then that'll be very effective. Meanwhile, a bit of a dance around in the north here as well. Yeah, trebuchets are running either side of this mountain. It's actually quite nice use of the fog of war coming in from Dante to, to find free harassment with the, the with his siege engines. Yeah, I'm going for that barracks. It takes so long for Red Bull to actually respond around the side of that mountain. Pulling back to try and group around his bombards. Gunpowder age now for, for Red Bull. Barracks have sniped. Dante, please commerce upgrade. Uh, I hope so. Yay! Yay! Dante's the best. Now he has like 140 income or food. See, university site would be awesome. Just get the bombards attacking. Um, can't take the city, take the buildings around it. Even sniping the, the camps down is going to stop any more income. This, this university is the entirety of the knowledge income. Fourth, Dangerous Dave. He's actually in some trouble here. If he loses this city, that's going to be yeah. a lot of his his resources. I don't know if he can take this engagement head up, heads up, even with his, his legions. He doesn't need to, though. If he just takes the city down, then he can't mine from it. Hmm. Yeah, he's pulling. He's kind of pulling his army back now. He definitely can't take out this castle. And building a few spies... Oh, there is an explorer mixed in, though. Even a spy yeah. of uh, of his own. There, and now he looks for the engagement. Nice, nice. timing. He's going to find a good one here. Okay, he's going to be collapsing upon the army. Yeah. Looks like Green's army is pretty big. There's going to be a couple of bribes coming through, but I don't think it'll matter. Now be captured with infantry, popping in and out of the garrisons. We see another engagement here, Red Bull... Dante actually gonna collapse. Yeah, he lost his castle, so there's nothing defending his army here now. He has this, this a couple of horses, the elephants mixed in too, but still, looks like 
should be a pretty even fight, but at the south, the city has not been taken. Not yet. I mean, the uh, the engagement certainly continues. The the rage units, at least a few of them, staying alive, but they've got nowhere to garrison and actually shoot from. There's no supporting keep in the area. I mean, it's up to the, the left hand side really not contributing to this engagement. You just need to keep attacking and just roll over these defenders. Get the bombards, sniping down the, the barracks, stopping any more production. <laughs> Should be pretty easy, but he's actually pulling back. There's four barracks, because he's actually playing Aztec, so he gets yeah. free uh, light infantry whenever he gets a barracks. Yeah. It's actually a nice way to defend, is investing in those barracks for free infantry. Well, Dante was repelled. It's an emergency force. University still stands, I really want to see this one go down. Bombards need to be more busy, they need to be slapping production or something important, not going for these units. Yeah, they're going for it now. Mm. There's five barracks. Oh. Aztecs, man. They must be costing That's a fair bit. Pulling back. See? Man, could have been easy university snipe. That's disappointing. Yeah, university tower for sure. Wow. That would have got all of his metal income, all of his knowledge income. Yeah. But he was very close to getting that town, the, the city, and that would have been very punishing. Yeah, until a half dozen barracks went down. Yeah. <laughs> kind of turned until the tides. a thousand turned, of these arquebuses. Yeah, turned the tides of the engagement a bit. 320 timber for another barracks. Man, it looks like someone's been, someone wants to build a terracotta army, Dangerous Dave. So. Counterattack? Question mark, question mark. So it's, it's three... Yeah, three free squads for every barracks. There's not, no, no, no. a siege factory, damn it. <laughs> I was hoping there's another barracks. <laughs> siege helps as well. There's a, a pretty huge opportunity for uh, Atlanta Dante to pull ahead in this game, which they haven't done. Now Red Bull is uh, stacking up the war elephants. It's got a decent amount, and it's, it's actually uh, Goodland's turn to be attacked. Yeah, it's a 2v1. Attacking via the north is is Red Bull. So we try to split the army a little bit. Uh, leaving Red Bull's base undefended. He doesn't have a lot of units in the area and uh, Dante will be going on the offensive. Yeah, this city should be taken here. There's nothing to defend. Yeah, nothing to defend. With that being said, I mean, if, if this 2v1 actually gets pulled off, Gunnelin is out of the game. They're not really committing though, are they? It's weird that they're not. I don't really understand. I mean, Damascus is going to fall regardless. Yeah, this army needs to attack because the longer that he just sits there doing nothing, it means the longer that Red Bull's going to take some damage. And this army is tiny. It's, it's mainly just siege. Really should play this one. I mean, uh, wow. maybe Red Bull can get a sniper under the trebuchets. I'm really not sure. Okay, now they're Dumbass fighting. Is not attacking. Come on. Dangerous Dave, and he's only right. attacking now, but Red's already being cleaned up. Well, yeah, that wasn't a good fight there at all for not Red Bull. All, yeah. And he only has two catapults here, so it'll take him a while to get through the barracks, stable. There's a, there's even a castle there as well. And given the positioning of the metal, he can't actually attack the city very easily. Yeah, this is this is a very good defensive layout here. Yeah. Uh, overall poor play by uh, Dangerous Dave and, and Red Bull. Not well communicated, coordinated, and uh, it's Red Bull that's actually cities. Oh my god, cities. this is his capital. It's his capital. They have to do something here or they're going to be out of the game. He's, he's pulling back his army, but the army's actually been pretty big now for, uh, for Dante. Citizens getting sniped out as well. We need to see a lot of stables being thrown down here because there's actually a fair amount of wealth and metal. And that's what you need to get the, the heavy cavalry, which is Perfect. precisely what uh, is required against so many Archiverses. Okay, the catap the bombards are being flanked, but... Yeah, it doesn't matter, they've done, their, they've done their job already. Yeah. Certainly has been reduced. We'll be in just a second, there's the reduction. There's going to be a lot of income coming out of this one. Oh, no. Oh, maybe it's because he, you know what? Oh, dude, he's Persians. That's why. Oh, two capitals. double capital. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty important. But still, I don't know if it'll matter. This is a huge army here, though, coming out of Dangerous Dave and Gunland going for the attack. 
Well, thinking about it. Thinking very hard yeah, about it. Pretty sure he can trade this. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not enough. Not enough heavy cavalry. It's a possibility. Persian double capital saving Red Bull's butt here. Obviously well calculated. Yeah, and regardless of the, the capital timer, that, that's like a thousand resources of each, if you get that capital. So that was the, actually the Enlightenment Age, that was for for Gunnerland, so he's going to be waiting up for his upgrades, getting the Musketeers now. It really does put a timer on Dangerous Dave's attack, otherwise he's going to be uh, assaulting a heavily upgraded force, so maybe it's just the, the snipe. Man, they're not finishing the snipe, Dangerous Dave, there's no reason not to finish off the, uh, the fortress here. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. Obviously, it's, it's, it's safe play, I suppose. He, he saw the age pop and, and didn't want to look for an engagement, but he had enough time to take out that fortress. It was 30 seconds maximum, maybe, with the bombards. So. Mm. Maybe. Is he looking to defend his his teammate? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. <sighs> just giving uh, get Atlanta a just chance to, to repair up the fortress for free. Damascus has been taken. Cephalus has been taken. Dante's economy isn't that good though. It's 150 food, where it's 110 food for Red Bull, despite only having two cities. <clears throat> and another attack coming out of Gunland. Is he looking to regroup with his, with his yeah, ally? Yeah, I'm pretty sure to collapse upon the, the, the last capital for, for Red Bull from looks of things. Oh, okay. So now it's uh, Dangerous Dave going for the capital. Well, Anticum isn't the capital, so yeah, maybe. Rome is. Alright, now, yeah, now they're disengaging here. Gunline wanting to defend himself, so that's a lot of wasted time. If your opponent's army is out of position and they have to rotate back to their base, then that's a lot of um, just time where your army isn't doing anything. And, and this city will certainly go down. It will be taken. Where all the, where's all the production? That's pretty important too. There's one barracks there and one stable. I think that's actually it. Yeah, wow. Really limited production actually for good line. Yeah, it definitely needs to throw down more of these these structures. So territory is being sliced open. Plunder 500 for all. Wow. Not quite a thousand. And that's the, the countdown timer started, but he may even just get the, the capital here. The other sitting at a conquest victory. Yeah. Seems as though Red Bull is uh, well and truly out of this game. And, yeah, assaulting Rome, I guess that's the only way for, for Dangerous Dave to stay in this, is actually taking the capital himself, uh, setting a, a timer on Dangerous Dave, which will either force this game into a, a 1v1, or it'll make Dante respond and pull away from Red Bull. One of the two. See what he does. There's the reduction and the, uh, the countdown timer as well. Yep, and all that, that extra plunder bonus. Mm. A much longer countdown timer here in Persians. Uh, look, so, so Dan Red Bull's pulling back to his teammate. He wants to try and get another city down here. Maybe he builds the Forbidden City, but he actually has no money at all. Yeah. Uh, is that oh, that's oh, why. Right, that's he already why. has a Forbidden City ready to go. Okay. Wow, that was close. He's pulling all those citizens. I don't know if he can do this in time. He's got a minute 40 to build the Forbidden City. It takes a while. Yeah. The citizens are still on their way down. I'm not sure if he can get this done in time. Six minute timer here for Gunnerland. And his army is actually still pretty big. And he's got plenty of production. Plenty of production structures too, but no income. Didn't have any backup farms here on this city. Only having the one try building his own Forbidden City. Wow, but I I'm pretty sure this one goes uh, down I don't know, faster. Man. I don't know. He's actually already started it here. This yeah. one was, it was placed earlier, but he's only starting it now. And let's see how many uh, citizens there are. There's actually there's eight here. Yeah. As opposed to one, two, three, nine, four, ten seven, is coming on. Eight. Yeah. Ten. Well, right. once once this one, I think. Oh right, okay. Are there? Yeah, look. Oh, well, well, there is like yeah. a nine here with yeah. this box. Tenth there. So I don't actually think this will finish. Seventeen percent. Twenty. Yes. Yeah. So yeah no, no chance. So no, no way. That's that's gonna be a thought. Oh uh, man, Red Bull. He thinks he's gonna get out of this one with the Forbidden City. He is. Uh, he's dead wrong. Really, his his team should be helping him here. We should see all of these these. Uh, can you do that? Can you help? Yeah, your, pretty you sure know, you can. Your ally build. Yeah. Maybe. Not sure. Or maybe you can't. Maybe you can't. Okay. Well, I mean, citizens they're, they're... getting pulled to this Forbidden City. What's the the, the what's the 
What are we on? 38, 38 42. 42. Pretty even amount. And it seems as though Antium's getting uh, assaulted here as well. So we've got 4 minutes 38 on the timer for Gunnar Land. 18, 17 seconds left for Red Bull. I don't think he's going to get this done in time anyway. The no. Forbidden City isn't going to finish. And this army unit cleaned up. The city's taken back. The capital actually was retaken. Yeah, nice. Okay, so Red Bull's managed to stall this one. That's cool. And but yet, his, his countdown time is still going, so I guess he needs this one as well. No, no, no. Uh, is it? But he still has the retake capital timer. Is it? No, isn't it Gunnerland's retake timer? That's, that's his no, but one. it's red. So Pretty yeah. sure it's Gunnerland's, though. Oh, no, you're right. Okay, you're yeah. right. Sorry. Yeah. I, I, th I thought that color would change depending no, on doesn't. what player right, it let's, is. Let's compare these Forbidden Cities. It's, gonna, it's actually going to matter now. 87 percent. So uh, well, I mean, there's no. Here we go. 85. Right. So not quite. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going to suck for Red Bull. Yeah, the worst feeling, man. 98, 99. Yeah, my city's almost done. Oh, oh, oh no. He gets his he gets his money uh, back. He gets a refund, but it's not what he wants. Talk about getting triggered. That's uh, it's not a fun time. It actually gives you some good income too. 50. 50 wood and 50 timber. Totally fucked. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Wow. The uh, the the 95% completed Forbidden City. GG. Yeah, GG. That's that's got to be the game. <sighs> well, that was a nice game. Yeah, it was good fun. But I think, yeah, I think maybe a little bit too passive was a dangerous day. If he had a huge army for a long time, which he didn't quite utilize. Yeah. A lot of it came down to that really poor engagement where they tried to take out Gunnerland. They uh, it just didn't coordinate it well, and then Red Bull lost his army, and then he lost everything. Yeah. Rather yeah, than having that place. base, and he actually could have he, he could have defended because he was producing so many war elephants from those stables. But yeah, good game. Alright, well thank you for watching, hope you've enjoyed the cast, we will see you next time at the General Gentleman.